I felt bad for McDonald's. You know, first of all, this whole excitement that they're trying to create about the fact that they're serving breakfast all day. I mean, I might be out of the loop. You know, I'm an older fella, but nobody I knew I know is has ever bitched that McDonald's doesn't serve breakfast all day. They might bitch, you know, when you show up at 1031. Are you still serving breakfast? No, I'm sorry. You know, and you got a hangover and you just want one of their fucking sausage, egg and cheese. And now you got to get like a quarter pounder, you know. Something about the eggs, you know, you did, I got to eat some eggs in there, a little bit of biscuit, right? I can see that. And I can see them, hey, from now now on, we're going to be serving uh, breakfast until 11 a.m. That would have been fine. But to watch these guys just cave in to their fan base and just say, you know what? Okay, you know what, you guys, you win. You win. You can have breakfast all day long. To watch them do that, it's like watching a great artist just completely sell out, right? And just start, you know, making songs that really meant something and connected with you to just do it. Remember that time when Brian Adams put on the eyeliner and spiked up his fucking hair? It was just like, how, how did the summer of 69 guy go from this to that? Well, what happened? That's what McDonald's is doing right now. They got their eyeliner on. They got their fucking hair all spiked up. They might as well it just, you know, when they announced that they fucking going to do breakfast all day, they might as well have had Ronald McDonald behind two turntables pretending to be like a DJ. You know, have a little self-esteem, McDonald's. Don't fucking give in to these fucking animals. Fuck them. If you can't roll your fat ass out of bed by 10 or 1030, you're getting a burger. All right? Fuck you. I'm going to make eggs for you all goddamn day. I'm not. Fucking burgers like 99 cents. What more could we be doing for you? Could we doing for you? What more could we be doing for you? See that? That's that fucking hiccup in my brain. Um... I think it's a bad move. You don't see Wendy's doing that. Wendy's doesn't even serve breakfast. They're like, fuck you. We make hamburgers. And you know what? They're square. Deal with it. Right? McDonald's, you're the dealer. You're the pusher. Okay? You let the junkies come to you. You don't start slashing prices. Okay? I understand. Okay? You, you, you fucking billions and billions have served. The formula fucking works. What are they so afraid of? Because I'll tell you right now, you know what sucks? Denny's. Let's just talk breakfast food right here, you know? Denny's fucking blows. I don't know what it is about them. They are like, like IHOP is like the IROC Z, and Denny's is just the, the regular, you got a Camaro, but it's got a V6 in it. I don't know why. They serve the exact same, the exact same, they almost have the same menu. They just call it different shit, right? It's like McDonald's and McDowell's, right? But there's something about IHOP, you know, their, their, their pancakes, they're more fluffier. Bacon's a little more crispier. I like their toast better. You know, eggs are eggs, whatever. You know, don't ever order scrambled eggs. If you want scrambled eggs, you make them yourself. Okay? They just, nobody knows how to make fucking scrambled eggs. Nobody knows how to make oatmeal. They know how to make oatmeal, but they made it like nine hours ago and they just stick it in a giant vat. I'll give you guys a great tip. On fucking when you make scrambled eggs. All right? When you scramble them, you got to scramble the shit out of them. All right? When I scramble eggs, all right, put two or three in the bowl. Okay? It's like a cooking show. Except you're listening to it, right? Um, you fucking... <laughs> I don't know how the hell I even got on this subject. How the fuck does this happen? I'm telling you guys how to scramble eggs. Do you realize how insulted you should be right now? This is like something you tell a five-year-old. But this is a little secret that I made scrambled eggs forever. And you know what? They tasted like the scrambled eggs at Denny's. And I was proud. I was like, these are just like the ones at Denny's. But I didn't realize that Denny's absolutely sucked. Right? So um, I'm just loving all the tweets I'm going to get. Because you know there's people out there that love Denny's and thinks IHOP stinks. I will tell you this. Denny's table's not as sticky. IHOP has cornered the fucking market. I mean, dude, you put your elbow on that table. If you leave it there for more than three seconds, I mean, somebody's got to get a putty knife or you're not getting it off there. Um, so anyways, the, the, the scrambled eggs, this is what you want to do, right? You put two or three in a bowl, whatever you want to fucking do. All right? And then you take out your fork and you start fucking scrambling them. And what a lot of people do is they scramble them for like fucking, you know, 15, 20 seconds tops. You don't want to do that, dude. You want to scramble them for like two minutes. You want to get a bunch of air in there. You want to scramble the shit out of them, right? 
I learned this from reading an article on James Conn one time. He, he gave me this tip. So this is from him. So if you think I'm a fucking moron, I'm going from a guy who was in Godfather 1 and 2. All right? And Elf. Three of the greatest fucking movies of all time, as far as I'm concerned. All right? So anyways, you got to get that air in there. You got to have those bubbles going right over the top. You know what I mean? Like a good milkshake. That's what the fuck it should look like. Meanwhile, you got your pan. Your pan is on high. I know you guys, Christ, you're going to cook the shit out of it. No. What you're going to do is the second you pour it in, you're going to be constantly moving that motherfucker, right? You put it in the, right? You got the pan, you got your little fucking whatever you use, right? Your olive oil, whatever the fuck you, I wouldn't put butter in there because you got it on high, right? Whatever you spray in there, you pam, whatever you, whatever you use to deplete the ozone layer. You get that thing on high, Right? And right as whatever you put in there just starts to seem like it's going to start smoking, you pour that shit in there. And it goes, whoosh, and then you move that fucker around like a stir fry. You don't stop moving that thing, right? And when it looks like it's about halfway done, you pull the frying pan off the burner and you finish it that way. Then you take it, you fucking dump it on, and you're done. That's it. Oh, at some point you put some sea salt in there too, Whatever, however, however you want to garnish it. All right? And I'm telling you, they'll be nice and fluffy. All right, unlike that horse shit that they have down there at Denny's and IHOP. IHOP doesn't make good scrambled eggs either. And you got to get cheese in them. You got to get cheese, but that's like ordering a steak and you got to put like fucking A1 on it because the guy didn't know how to cook it. You should not have to put cheese in your fucking scrambled eggs if you know what you're doing. All right, and you know what? That's one to grow on. There you go. How was that? It took me fucking seven, eight years of doing this podcast and I finally told you how to scramble a goddamn egg. 